Today, I'd like to teach you how to find the percent compositions of each element inside of copper 2 nitrate. In order to do that, we're going to find the total mass first. It's going to be easy peasy, and then we'll find those percents of each particular element. Bam! So the first step is to write down the elements we see in the compound, right? So we see copper, Cu, we see nitrogen, N, and we see oxygen, O. Then is, next is to write down the number of atoms. That's where these subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of copper here, there's an invisible one. That means we have one copper atom. At the bottom of nitrogen, there is a one, but the problem is that nitrogen is tied up in the polyatomic anion nitrate. And you don't have one nitrate here, you have two of them. So if in each nitrate there's only one nitrogen, but you have two nitrates, there should be two nitrogens. Easier way to do it, take a look at that subscript, just multiply by the outer subscript, okay? Inner subscript, multiply by outer subscript. So the total amount of nitrogen here is two. Following that same logic for oxygen, then the total amount of oxygen should be six. You multiply them. Next is then to identify the mass of each element, and that's where the periodic table comes into play. So let's take a look. So copper here has a mass of 63.55, nitrogen is 14.01, and oxygen is 16. Those masses are in grams per molar AMU. It actually does not matter. The magnitudes stay the same. The values do, they are different, all right? But uh, the magnitudes actually are equivalent, so it doesn't really matter which one we use here. So for the uh, mass of copper, we're going to use 63, 63.55. The mass of nitrogen was 14.01 and oxygen was 16. I write the six first, don't ask me why. So the total mass of the element now is simply gonna be found by multiplying the row on together. So this is gonna be 63.55 total mass of copper. Total mass of the nitrogen is then multiplying that together, so that's 28.02. And then oxygen here is gonna be 96. All right, that's the total mass of the, the oxygen. Did I say nitrogen? I meant oxygen. I'm not sure what I said. But anyway, total mass of the oxygen here, just multiply those on across. Then to find the total mass of the compound, not really sure what's going on, but my computer has a mind of its own. The total mass of the compound now is just going to be simply added on together. All right, so you're going to add this total column on up. That'll find the total mass of the entire element now. So this is going to be 187.57. And there you have it, the total mass of the compound. This was the first step. All right, so now that we know the total mass of the compound, we can find the percents of each particular element. Watch, I'm going to add a column to the table. Bam, so to find the mass percent or the percent composition of copper, we're going to take the total mass of the copper, 63, 63.55, and then divide it by the total mass of the entire compound, 187.57. The units are irrelevant because they're going to cancel, so that's why we don't have to worry about the units. Um, and uh, this simple percent, part over whole times 100, all right? Easy peasy. So really all you're going to do is look down this particular column, all right? Uh, when you do the division here, it's going to work out to be about 33 33.88%. And that's it for copper. Nitrogen, same process, total mass, 28.02, divided them by the total, 187.57, multiply by 100, and calculate that. So that's going to be 14.94 or so, and that's in terms of percent, all right? And then last but not least, oxygen, 96, don't worry about the zeros. You might say, well, doesn't it matter for sig figs? Sure it does, but quite honestly, who cares about sig figs? Until your professor takes off 98 points on the test, then you're only left with a 2. So here's going to be 51.18%. All right? Sorry, Timmy. You got all the questions right technically, but you forgot the sig figs, so you got a 2 on your test. Well, thanks, teach. If you added those percents on together, it should be 100%. So don't worry, Timmy. You got a 100 on this problem. All right? Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Check out some more of our videos. We've got thousands of them out there. Solve specifically, not only in chemistry, physics, and mathematics. we got two. we got a lot of other stuff coming out. Biology, statistics, organic chemistry. Ooh. We'll see you soon.